Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailer into Reaction. What we're looking at today is the trailer, the latest trailer for The Punisher. This premiered a day or two ago. I'm just getting around to it. So here we go. You know, work with Netflix has been incredible. Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist. It's not terrible. A lot of people treat Iron Fist as if it's, the, if it's like chlamydia or polio. It's not that bad. It's not as good as the others, though, but it's decent. The Defenders, pretty good. Liked it a lot. The Inhumans, haven't seen it. The buzz is terrible. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that the Inhumans demands more than Marvel Studios is willing to pay for a production. It needs a movie, or if it's going to be television, it needs to be big, it needs to be bold, it needs to be unusual. Everything, from what I've heard, the Inhumans wasn't. That being said, we're not talking about the Inhumans today, we're talking about the Punisher. Frank Castle. Kick ass. John Bernthal. Born to play the character. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's kind of cool. They set him up as human. That's important. <sighs> plenty of time now that you're home. John Bernthal's version is the fourth iteration of The Punisher. First it was Dolph Lundgren, then Thomas Jane, then Ray Stevenson. This looks like the definitive Punisher. Take no prisoners, kick ass, the way the Punisher should be. This is what Marvel Television specializes in. The smaller heroes, the more I hate to use the word conventional, but the more conventional type hero. The type of hero that doesn't require a um, 125 million budget to bring to life. This looks awesome, but most importantly, it looks like the Punisher. 
This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com with Trailer into Reaction. Peace.